And joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, BYU infielder Andrew Pintar joining us from his hotel room. Penny, how are you? How, is, uh, how are things in beautiful Stockton, California? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. It's a cool little place here. Yeah. Well, look, I, I, I know based off of the, the schedule that I know you keep when you're on the road, I've got to imagine, what, you got breakfast done, what, about a half an hour ago, and now it's kind of just getting yourself ready for the game tonight, right? Yeah, we kind of got all day to kind of relax, you know, get ready and get in the right mindset. Got a good breakfast in, that's what matters, and we're ready to go. Look, I, I know it was tough to lose the final game at San Diego, but you guys playing so well right now. You guys playing well in that series. You took two of three. What do you think are the main reasons why the team has gotten into such a nice groove right now? You know, these past couple of weeks, you know, we've kind of figured out how to just play and have fun. You know, we've been a lot, we've been really uptight lately, especially at the first of the season, you know, we were down, you know, but we kind of settled in, we found our groove, we found out how to have fun, you know, and our guys are just starting to play for each other. You know, that's what matters. And this last series was so, was really fun because, you know, two good teams going at it, it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's, it's a fun environment, you know, and yeah, we just got to carry that into this weekend and the next. Well, the team's playing really well here down the stretch. Individually, your season's been outstanding. Lead the team in batting average, hits, runs scored, tied in triples. How do you describe your season personally? Yeah, um, you know, I've had my ups and downs this season for sure, but I've tried to stay as consistent as possible, and I, I try to stay even keeled throughout the season. A lot of guys ask why I don't ever get too low or too high, and it's just – it's just because I try to stay consistent, and, you know, that's what helps me stay stay like that. And luckily, I've had a little bit more ups and downs this season, but, yeah, I just got to keep going to finish the season strong. Yeah, I think that's an understatement, Penny. More, <laughs> more Certainly more ups than downs. Your season has been unbelievable, and, and it's been fun, too. Your your power numbers have, uh, have spiked over the last uh, couple of weeks. You've had three home runs in the last two series. Now, right now, Cole Gamble has eight home runs, so he leads the team – with eight home runs, are you, are you looking to give Cole a little bit of a run for his money over the next couple of weeks? Hopefully. Hopefully I can give him a little run for his money. But I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to stay consistent and keep seeing the ball well at the plate. You know, home runs come from swinging good, but we'll see what happens. Hey, how bittersweet is it to be playing so well right now at the end of the year? You guys really on a roll but knowing that the normal format for a conference tournament isn't in place. You guys are in fifth right now. You're playing where you could possibly get into a fourth spot on a normal year. That would get you into a conference tournament and an opportunity to play for an NCAA tournament bid. But that, but that's not out there right now. The team's playing so well. How tough is that? You know, it was really tough hearing that we weren't going to have a tournament, a conference tournament this year. But knowing where we are now, we're just, you know, we're trying to finish the year strong, you know. That's the only thing we really can do, and that's the only thing we can control right now is you just come out these last two series and finish strong, just like we did this last series. So for those that do not know, uh, you are engaged to be married this summer. So once the off-season arrives, what, what's going to be occupying your time? Is it going to be the wedding plans? Are you looking to maybe play some summer baseball? What's the plans for the summer? Yeah, I'm actually pretty occupied this summer. I'm actually <laughs> going back out to Minnesota to play more baseball for the whole summer. But And right when I get back, I'll be getting married. But I'm putting a lot of pressure on her, you know, my family and her family to kind of get it all ready to go. But, yeah, we're, we're super excited. We're really excited. And, and so, so, Penny, this is an opportunity. We're showing some of, the, some of your photos uh, when, you, when you asked her, what's, what's her name? This is an opportunity for you to dote on your – on your fiance a little bit, give everybody an idea of who, who you're marrying. Yeah, her name's Rachel. She, um, we're high school sweethearts. We started dating my junior year of high school. You know, I've known her for a long time. She's an amazing girl and I, I cannot wait to marry her. We've been looking forward to this for a long time and we kind of figured this is the right time for us. And, and there was an opening at the end of the summer when I get back. So we thought what better time than now. So we're super excited. Uh, congratulations. And, hey, take it from two guys that are married. This is the best advice we could ever give you. And it seems like you already know this, but 
it's not your day anyhow. So, you, like, <laughs> whatever she says, you just shake your head and go, yes, dear, that's on, on the wedding day, this is all about you. You can just focus on baseball, let her focus on that, and I think things will turn out just fine, Andrew. That's that's the way it goes. So, hey, before we let you go, give us the scouting report on Pacific. You guys are poised to start uh, your final road series of the season. Uh, what do we look for in Pacific? Um, you know, I think they're a pretty good team. I, know I don't think their numbers show it, but, you know, they've beaten some teams. We just got to come out with the same mentality we had against San Diego, you know, staying on the gas pedal, staying aggressive. You know, that's what that's when we play our best is when we don't play relaxed. We just go get it. And we just got to take that into this series next. And I think we'll be just fine. All right, Penny, uh, let's give you the uh, the BYU Sports Nation karma. We'll send it to you and the rest of the team. as You guys play your final road series looking to keep uh, keep the good play going against the Pacific Tigers. Uh, congratulations on on a fun season so far. It's it's obviously great to, to cover you and these guys, uh, and good luck against the Tigers. We appreciate you joining us on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for having me.